Hi, Amanda Armstrong. Welcome to the back of this Teardown Lab. Another mystery thing. So let's see what we can work out from the label. Electronic parts 01000000091x1 US dollars 0 0.01. So it's worth one cent. So somebody in China has sent me something worth one whole cent. Let's have a little cutsy cutsy. Doesn't feel like there's anything in here. It's amazing. Apparently, the Chinese government send this stuff, ship stuff for free. That's why you get it so cheap, by the way. I can feel something. Mmm. Ha! <laughs> that is a really random thing to get, but I do remember what this is, and it was quite cheap. I'm going to zoom in and show you. I'm going to let you, there's some pin headers in here, that's basically what I mean, there you go. 90 degree and straight pin headers. You're not interested in pin headers though, put them aside. It's nice that they have them though. I'm going to show you this module. So I'll hold it there in the palm of my hand and you can see it's pretty small. There's my thumb with a little cut on it. It's uh, about the size of a thumbnail and a half, how about that? The uh, VCC, ground, SCL, SDA, XDA, XCL, SADO, and INT. So there's all the different things you have. Can you tell what interface that is? It's looking a little bit like, um, go, I want to say um, spy. But I do forget between spy and I squared squee. I'm going to, I'm going to, I squared squee. I squared squee. Um, I'm going to level with you. I do forget what the uh, lines are on those. I don't deal with them all the time. But let's just have a closer look. I'm really struggling. This is hard to read. As hard as it is for the camera to keep focusing on it, I can tell you it's hard for my eyes to actually even focus on the numbers. But yeah, I think I've, I think I've got it. I think no, I had it upside down. What this is, it's uh, I'm getting NV oh something sense MPU six oh five oh incense incense anyway i'll just tell you what this is this is uh, an accelerometer chip it's a three channel digital accelerometer and what you can do with this you can hook this up to any of your gadgets if you've got your arduinos and booby boards and raspberry pis or whatever and that will measure acceleration in three axes so you can build various things so if you want to be able to make your own tilt style joystick you know, maybe you want to put it on your hand and go forward, backward. Make your own power glove, you can. If you want to put something in your car that measures, you know, your little uh, accelerometer, G, you know, G meter, like a Nissan Skyline, you can. You can do all sorts of things. And I really can't remember how much this was, but it was really cheap, next to nothing. Looking here, though, you just have some sort of interrupt and some sort of analog ADO, maybe analog digital lines. I'm not sure what buses it has. Maybe it's just. It's going to be probably multi-format, so you can get all sorts of data out of it. Uh, again, I'll try to bring up a data sheet. Who knows what G it is? When you buy these, you can get them in different Gs. So depending on your application, if you know you're going to be putting it in a drag car, for example, you might want something a little bit beefier or a rocket. Um, but then if you're detecting how fast a cup of tea moves across the uh, table in an old people's home, you probably don't need massive amounts of G in the measurement, and you prefer to have more accuracy low down. So yeah. That's a bit uh, sort of meandering and rambling, but I, I have to admit, yeah, I do forget the details of some things when I order them sort of like two months ago and then they suddenly turn up and I just can't, can't even remember why I got it. You know, they end up just in a box until I remember I've got it again and use it in the project. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave comments down below. Bye-bye. <laughs>